Hello, this is Mike from Michigan. I'm showing you how I light my smoke and o's. My barbecue is not that elaborate, so it doesn't get nearly as hot to light them. So what I like to do is just take my small little welding torch and warm up my smoke and o's. Once you get it going, I do like to let it burn for a while. And it does take more than one opportunity or one chance to, to really get it lit. The trick is that I found is once you get it lit, you let it burn for a while, you know, full flames, before you set it on your grill. And I really like to warm up that center section also. You can even flip it over. Get both sides burning, but really big concentration of the heat in the center of the O. Once you've got a good flame going, it's a little windy out here in Michigan today. Then we can set it on the hot spot of our grill, and that really helps to, uh, to keep the flame going. It's starting to smoke now on occasion. Take a quick hitter on your torch. Get it going. We'll let that sit for about three or four or five minutes. Come back and check it. Let's see what we got. Mike again from Michigan. It's been about five minutes since we let our smoke and oil with the, uh, our torch and now it's on our grill. Let's take a look. As you can see it's starting to burn. It's got a good flame on it. That's exactly what we're looking for. We've got some good embers. Now what I like to do is just blow it out. Kind of blow out a little bit. Now this is where I would like to uh, I move it off to the not hot spot of the grill which in this particular grill is the front left corner, or front right corner, excuse me. So that is generally how we light our smoke and o's. Like I said, it's extremely windy out here in Michigan today. And uh, our barbecue temperature, we had them all on high. I'm going to turn everything to low now. It's 400 degrees and climbing. But that's how... That's how I like to use our smoke and o's made right, right here in the United States and Montana. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.